Well, it's, it's a very good question, and I think right now there's, you know, in our industry, it's being characterized through, through waves of new technology, uh, and a lot of people have a lot of high hopes for what 5G will bring. Uh, but if we take one step back, you know, this is not kind of a revolutionary technology. It's an evolution of technology which is already out there. So what's going to be much more interesting when it comes to 5G is the use cases that, that 5G will support. Uh, and here, I think it's been mentioned earlier from this, uh, this podium and this stage today, it's most probably more uh, kind of a business-to-business a, a, a -business type of, of, of network, more than a consumer network at least to begin with. Um, 2017 uh, was the first year where we kind of started to do testing on 5G in the world. Uh, the standard has just been released and, you know, you are sitting with an antenna and a computer to see whether the signal actually works. 2018, we have seen... I would say more pioneering uh, solutions uh, where you see applications of the network, for instance, in Korea uh, during the Olympics where drones were doing cameras. And I think in 2019, uh, we expect that you will see islands of 5G coverage, which is going to be much more for piloting and testing, bringing the kind of network to a larger group of users so that we can start to see what kind of services will actually go on top of this network. I think it's very a uh, good point uh, that you just mentioned how it's really about how we decide to use the technology, how to revolutionize the way we interact and communicate. Then how do you think we're going to manage to make 5G really work for us so that it's actually revolutionary for us? First, I do think that we need to start focusing on what kind of use cases does this network support. And I think our uh, esteemed, uh, you know, colleague here from Huawei this morning spoke very much about, you know, what does this do? It gives a greater bandwidth, it gives greater speed, and it has latency, which is much lower, which means that it's very, very suitable for heavy data transfers. Uh, we think that the, the first use case that you will see is predominantly going to be in smart cities and autonomous vehicles, because autonomous vehicles actually do need uh, a latency which is very low to be safe. The second thing is most probably within healthcare. Uh, there's a lot of uh, healthcare that requires remote access, and it would be possible to do real transfers uh, using this network in remote areas. And then the third thing is most probably going to be around uh, more industrial uh, manufacturing, which requires uh, robotics, for instance, where you need to have connectivity. This is also a place where the 5G network will be very important.